Almost main man, Lucky Lance. You're ready for more. <clears throat> Boros Burn, that's right. Hope to see four Flame Rift. <laughs> hey, man, I tried that card as a two of and I saw it out almost every damn time. That card's, like, okay, but I'm not into it. Uh, how you doing, Ethereal Eyes? How you doing, Cole? Glad you guys are all here. Um, like I said, my name's Lance, but more importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on... Yo, Sean X Perry. Glad to see you here, man. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, MTGA, and Twitter. So if you want to join me on any of those, uh, if you're watching on Twitch, please start following. If you're watching on YouTube, please start subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. And you're always welcome to join my small but um, good flock little birdies on Twitter. Um, so yeah. As you can tell, I'm going to play Magic the Gathering. When I play Magic the Gathering, I play Modern. When I play Modern, I play one of five decks, somewhat coherently. Those five decks are Jund, Humans, Grixis Death Shadow, Groupon's Midrange, when you see the screen right now, Boros Burn. Yes, sometimes I dabble in the burn. Uh, great deck, one of my favorite decks of all time. Love playing it, love playing against it. Fun shit. Um, so... Yeah, let's take a look here. Uh, let's take a look at the weather here. I know everyone's excited for that. It's actually a nice day. It was so stormy over the weekend. Uh, weather for Ravensdale conditions are partly cloudy with a temperature of 65 degrees. The wind is blowing from the northwest at 4 miles per hour, and the current humidity is 54%. Yeah, it's nice blue skies out right now, but man, it was so wet over the weekend. I think it had like 3 inches of rain. All right, so we are still at 6 followers on Twitch. Still 174 followers on um Twit, twit, well, I don't know what I said. Anyways, 261 uh, subscribers. We have got one subscriber on YouTube. So we're up to 261 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you guys very much. So shout out to all six followers on Twitter. Shout out to all 174 followers on Twitch. And shout out to all 261 subscribers on YouTube. And of course, a massive shout out to my one Twitch subscriber who's given me a little bit of their hard earned money just to watch me rumble, bumble, and stumble. And it means so much to me. I'm going way above and beyond the Call of Duty, and uh, thank you so much. And thank anybody who watches any of this stuff, whether on Twitch or on YouTube. It really means a lot to me. Newerbud, how are you doing, man? Uh, no Luris? No, no Luris in this. Um, I'm not a fan of losing. I, I mean, like, I've seen most burn lists with Luris, or I've played against him, including at my 1K I went to yesterday. And the man, he never touched that Luris. He never even looked at it. Thank you kindly, Sean X. Perry, for the follow. Let me know where you're from and what your favorite modern deck is. Uh, he never touched that thing. And he had Ragavans in there, which, speaking of Boros Burn, whenever I go to a 1K or larger tournament, um, the last 15 times, 12 of 15 times, my final round has been against Boros Burn. What in the hell is going on there? And yes... I have beat it every time, but I'm playing usually Jund or um, Ponza, and I usually have life gain with those decks. So it's it, it, they're still great games. I mean, close every single one. Um, so yeah, guys, this is your standard Boros Burn. One of the most amazing things about this deck is how it never really changes. Um, I mean, I'm just going over the cards that are in it, and really the only cards that have come in since 2011 are Skewer the Critics, Eidolon, right? Uh, Skull Crack. Maybe Searing Blaze. Yeah, that was, you know, been playing Mono Red Burn and Modern, just turning into a Boros Burn player. Nice. Yeah, I think Boros Burn is a little bit better because it gives you um, access to Boros Charm, Lightning Helix, and, of course, the white cards on the side. Uh, but, you know, one thing that's really great about Mono Red is it's more consistent, right? You don't have to worry about being hung up on white mana or god forbid a blood moon gets you and now you're just top decking boros charms and stuff no basic planes in this deck i've always thought about adding a basic planes just in case of blood moon or something but man top decking that planes would feel so bad it really would so anyways guys let's get on in here see how we do um well, like i said i love boros burn it's one of those decks where you got to go fast i mean not fast but you got to beat your opponent pretty quickly a lot of times um and uh, we'll see. See how good I am. I mean, I don't play Burn that often. Once every few months, I get that I get that special tingle. I get sunburnt, and I'm like, you know, I should play Burn. I'm burnt already. Let's play some Burn. No, I, I don't get sunburnt. I, I, I make sure to protect myself from mean old Mr. Sun. Nothing worse 
than thinking you're having fun outside, whether that's boating, fishing, going to a baseball game, whatever you're doing, working outside, you know, gardening or whatever, and you come in, you feel like you've accomplished something someday, and you look at yourself in the mirror, and you're like, oh my god, I look like a lobster, and you just, and then you're just, oh, you just feel it, and you're just like, ah, ah, just for like days, and just the hell with that. I knew a guy that got so badly sunburned, he got like third degree burns from mean old Mr. Sun. He said he was at a car show, and he was walking around all day, it was like August, you know, the hottest month of the year, he's walking around all day at the car, <laughs> car show, enjoying classic cars. And he uh, was having so much fun drinking Pepsi and, eat, and eating corn dogs. And he got his, turned his skin purple. His whole scalp was purple. And his bottom of his belly was hanging out of his shirt. So the bottom of his belly got burned. He's like, the sun burnt my belly. I was like, holy crap. Dude, you should go to the hospital or something. That's bad. All right. Anyways, enough about sunburns. This is a fine hand here. Now, that's a hand, folks. That's a good ass fucking hand. Now, <clears throat> Mountain Dew time, right? Well, folks, y'all know, they watch me regularly, know that I enjoy the Dew. I do the Dew many times. I do do the Dew. Um, this is a special time. I'm playing Boros Burn, and this just happens to be coincidence. No choke. And uh, how about a special Dew for a special week of Boros Burn? I'm scared to drink this, and I can't believe I'm saying that because this is Mountain Dew, and Mountain Dew's always good, right? This is Mountain Dew Flaming Hot. Look at that shit. What in the fuck is this? Mountain Dew Flaming Hot? Look at this. It's even got a caution on the side. Good. No, it's not Code Red. It's Flaming Hot Mountain Dew, like the Flaming Hot Cheetos. Look at this. What? Oh, my God. Being a part of Do Nation comes with risks now. They didn't tell me this when I signed up. Uh, it, it's a special thing. If you're a member of the Do Nation, they send you a six-pack. So that's how I had, like, Maui Burst and that kind of stuff. Um, but holy crap, what is that? What in the hell? All right, guys, let's get in here. This is a good hand. I'm going to keep. Am I going first? No, of course not. I'm going second. Uh, but let, let's, uh, here we go. We don't start officially until we hear the crack. Oh, my God. What is this, Jund? Well, I can't bolt the bird. Oh, God. Well, <clears throat> it smells fiery. Looking at the color, it appears to be some sort of, like, bloodish red. Here we go. Oh my God. That is actually pretty damn good. I am not scared no more. I actually enjoy that. Now what's weird about it is when you swallow it down, uh, screen, screenshot that, I guess. Um, it burns the shit out of you. I mean, it burns, like, your whole back of your mouth and the throat. They must have just engineered this thing to where it knows when you're swallowing it that it, it burns. Like, that's really weird, because I swished around my mouth and didn't burn. But then when I, you know, drank it, and it went down all the pipes and everything. It burned. That's crazy. Let me just test it one more time. Yeah, that's weird. That's some weird shit. What the fuck? Anyways, taking years off my life, you bet, man. My heart attack's right around the corner. It's any day now. I'm waiting. Well, I think we still play the Goblin Guide here. I mean, they're not going to block with their bird, right? I mean, the other... Whoa. The other thing um, I could have done, too is actually Rift Bolt. Get Verdant Catacombs. Only helping them out. I could have uh, also gotten Verdant Catacombs, I guess. I mean, I mean, suspend Rift Bolt and then hit the bird. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. 
Well, this is, apparently this is um, Golgari Yogmoth, so I'm going to need some help here. I mean, we're developing pretty good here. All right, Swiss Spear. Rip Bolt. Suspend. I think that way we can get a lot of damage next turn. I mean, we're looking at nine damage next turn. Um, swing with Bolt. Any of you that are burned regulars are probably getting pretty concerned of what you're looking at here, right? All right. Hmm. Stop helping him, Goblin Guide. I like how his birds are from 10th edition. Classic. Yes. So it looks like my creatures aren't going to be getting through anymore. Well, maybe. Yeah, he's not sending anything. All right, this is just going right at him. Just everyone, just fucking light him up. God, I forget how long this takes. How many times I've got to say okay to cast this. So yeah, just boom. Wow, Boros Charm too, excellent. Um, then yeah, just Spike. Maybe the better call here is the Boros Charm, knock him down to five. I think that's better. Charm, knock him to five. And then next turn we go Lightning Helix Skewer. I think so. I don't think, I mean, swing here with Swiss Spear, does he even care? I mean, yeah, he'll block, but he can't kill Swiss Spear here. I think we just send a Swiss Spear anyways, right? I mean, this is rough. This is rough on him because Yawgmoth makes him lose a life. So he'll probably have Strangle Root go, and then Strangle Root will get a plus one, plus one, which is fine. He seems pretty scared to fetch here. He does have basically five lands. I mean, he's got, well, he's got more at Dryad Arbor, too. So, this could get pretty rough. That was probably a bad decision to swing in there. That's okay. I still got a Goblin Guide to throw under the bus. So, the plan is... A lot of green mana. What's he got here? Oh god. Oh boy. X equal two. Does he have Yawgmoth? That is the question. Looks like he does. Looks like Yawgmoth's coming here. Fuck. 
So he won't really, I mean, this he'll lose a life and then gain a life, right? He doesn't have an infinite loop here. Okay. Just gotta look out for another strangle root. Fuck, did he get one? So they still win, even if he goes all the way, because we... He's going to be, a, what, at nine the entire time? Fuck. I don't think I can do anything here now. So now I think I need a lightning helix, the young wolf. How can I need a I need a lightning helix the young wolf? That's the only way this I get out of this. I guess I could lightning helix the blood artist as well. Right, he'll go up to 10. That's probably best. So now he just puts this on the stack, right, and just gains, well, no, this won't work either. He sacrifices the young wolf. He's got to sacrifice this now. He sacrifices young wolf. Yeah, okay. So he's going to go up to 10. It's amazing how people always have the right cards against me. No matter what deck I play. I mean, just one more strangle root will do it here. Eh, that's almost enough. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. Probably in, okay. So this is for five. 
So there's no way for me to win. Yeah, I just got that motherfucking blood artist. Fuck him. Wow, I actually did have lightning bolt coming too. Um, really nothing I can do here. Fuck, I'm missing one land. It's only seven. That's the best I can do. All right, well, this is easy siding at least. Uh, bring in the rest in peace. And, uh, you know, you could bring in searing blood. Rest in peace is an all star here. Uh, deflecting palms, okay. Searing blood. Uh, rift bolts. Always a challenge. Eidolon should be good. I think deflecting palm is good enough. Um, skull cracks good. Roiling vortex could also be good. I guess they got a couple skewer, maybe a skewer and a lightning helix. Eh, no, I like the lightning helix here because I keep gaining life against the. Uh, against the um, Yawgmoth. Uh, sure. It's been a while since I've seen this deck. I mean, I think the series, the last time I played against it was um, back in June at the, at the 2K. Man, that's weird tasting. Good Lord. That shit is hot. Flaming hot Mountain Dew. What am I doing? By the way, uh, Cole, I enjoyed how it, it censored Redneck. I don't know why. Uh, Jeff Foxworthy on notice. Does Jeff Foxworthy even do anything anymore? Do we know if he's still alive? Uh... He's got fatal push here. Nope, is that 14? Wall of Roots. That's what I figured. That's a damn good draw there. Wall of Roots is just a permanent blocker. Nothing I can do here. Just gotta keep drawing burn spells. That's all I can do now. Unless I get like a massive army of Swiss Spears that somehow get through. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm, should I searing blood that now? Hmm. Or should I have lightning helix? Fuck, I wish I had a lightning bolt. I would bolt, block, it'd come back and I'd searing blood it. I 
I guess I'll just take it. Fiery Islet. That's good, draws a card. Okay, this is a chance for searing blood here. Yes. Draw a card. Rest in peace is excellent. Searing blood. At eight. That's not excellent. It doesn't matter, I'll play the Inspiring Vantage now. So this could get ugly. Just gotta try and survive now. That's not helping me survive. Desperation. Fuck. Need Searing Blaze. Gotta hold this mountain for Searing Blaze now. That is a total of... Luckily they're pretty small. Three, six. Okay. It's gonna be close unless I don't top deck a burn here. I would really enjoy top decking um, Searing Blaze. Boros Charm. This is going to be close, folks. So this is going to come in as well. So we're looking at two, three, five, six, seven. Seven damage at least. And remember, I need to hold this mountain for Searing Blaze. I hope he doesn't find Blood Artisan. Blood Artisan wins the game multiple ways. I do like the Grist in this deck, though. That is a quality upgrade to this, this deck. Man, usually when I reach for my Mountain Dew, I'm excited. I look over, I'm like, oh yeah, that's there. This time, though, I don't know. Ooh, it's pretty intense. Oh, fuck! I see what he's going to do here. I forgot, so he's going to... No, 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 no. This won't work. Because this will go to the graveyard, right? Yeah. Oh, shit! What? What's happening here? This thing won't come back. It gets exiled. Yeah. What the fuck? Why'd he just help me? What? Okay. What happened there? I was close, so close to dying. Now I've got a little bit more room. 
Not really, but come on, any burn spell off the top. Any burn spell. Any burn spell. Damn it! Ugh, why does this shit happen to me? God damn it, dude. That sucks ass. How many burn spells were left in the deck? Let's count. Four lava spikes, I believe. Maybe three. Definitely four lightning bolts. Um, three searing blaze. Two skull cracks. Three lightning helix. Three boros charms. And at least one skewer of the critics. There was a searing blood in there still. And instead I draw uh, all three of my mountains. Just unreal. Just absolutely unreal. <laughs> like, I just... Come on! It's unreal. That is terrible. It do Well, not only MTGO, Cole. Um... At my 1K, I played it yesterday. Round two against Elemental. I was playing Ponza. Um, I top deck eight lands in a row. Think about how mentally and physically devastating that is on you. Where you're trying to do well at a 1K. And you top deck a fetch land. Like, all right, you play it. You fetch into turn, get another land on the field. You top deck another fetch land. You do that four times in a row... And then you only draw basics. Well, that's good. I'm happy to hear about that. It's always fun getting your own brew to work. I'm not very good at brewing at all. Like, I'm absolutely, honestly horrible. Uh, sure, I can keep this. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll keep this. I like Feed the Swarm a lot. I think that's a really great card. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I haven't played against this with Burn yet. So what do I do? Do I bolt this thing, like, right now? Or do I wait? I, I, I think we, I think we uh, skewer. I mean, not skewer. I think we uh, suspend Rift Bolt here. And then we can Searing Blaze uh, next turn. In this economy, it's still damn good. I just barely lost to Yawgmoth. Classic top deck mountain. Any burn spell to one. Opponents at one life. Anything would have worked there. I held a mountain. It didn't even matter holding a mountain anymore because of, uh, you know, it's another land. Um, I guess we have Searing Blaze because they're at one life, so I could just Searing Blaze for one. Let's check out this counter spell, baby. <laughs> yeah! Man, I'm so good at predicting the future. I guess I should have Rift Bolted that, right? Puts Ragavan in there, and that can't be good. Well, at least Eilon will do something, right? All right. Put Spell Pierce? Does he have Skewer the Critics? I'm not Skewer, that's me. Does he have, uh, um, force of negation here? Wow. Okay. All righty. Looks like we're going to have a good old-fashioned race here. Okay, um, 
how do I want to do this? Do I want to go... Eidolon first? Because some tells he's got like a force negation or something. Bolt. Bolt Ragavan. Bolt Ragavan play Eidolon. Yeah, that doesn't sound good having a whole bunch of uh, electricity underneath your tub. I'm so bad at burn, guys. Uh, I think it's Ragavan, right? Eh. Eh. I don't fucking know. Maybe it's just straight up uh, Searing Blaze, huh? Why don't we do Searing Blaze here? We'll try to kill both creatures, okay? Let's bolt there. Let's Searing Blaze here. Alright, it worked. Look at that shit. It was that simple. Kill both of the creatures. Curious Consider. This is the first time I've seen this card. Methane Infused Explosions. This sounds something like on a dairy farm. Draws a card, so he didn't put it, he put it on top, right? Yeah. So here's Merc Tide. We all gonna die. There it is. Dead. Dead as fuck. Look at that. Two lava spikes. I mean, I get my last basic mountain, right? To try and play Eidolon. No, oh, no, no. Do Lava Spikes first. That's, that'd be dumb. Play Eidolon, then Lava Spike. Now that would be a dumbass decision, right? All right. He's at three. He must have counter spells. I have two draw steps here, even though I'm kind of bungled here because I need to, I might not be able to with white mana. So it looks like a counter spell here. Um, this is it. It's Lava Spike. Lightning Bolt. Oh my god! What the actual fuck? <laughs> what? Ass! That's terrible! Oh my god! That's twice as scary the critics has fucked me. Uh, rest in peace obviously comes in again. There's so much graveyard shit. Deflecting palm, I like it here. Um... Yeah, why was it Skewer? Oh, it could have been another Lava Spike. You know? Or I had, I had what, four? No, I had three bolts left, and I th think one Lava Spike left. So I was getting kind of low there. Uh, God damn it. Just something like this. You know, that's what I like doing. I don't know. Maybe Rift Bolt's better than Skewer. No, that don't make any sense. Yeah, I like Deflecting Palm here. I remember, actually I have played against this because I was Deflecting Palming uh, Murktides before. We do have terrible luck, don't we, guys? It's just unreasonably bad at times. It's just really is. It's just, I mean, drawing eight lands in a row at the 1K yesterday would be enough to cause a lot of men to question their entire life. Is this good enough? I have no idea.
It doesn't have a creature. I I'm going to keep. I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. I see burn spells. Let's fucking go. Let's get some burn going. Let's uh, hoot and holler. You know, let let's go for it. There you go. We're at 17. It's a long way to get there. Nothing, huh? Alright, how about another lava spike? You like lava spikes? There you go. Think about that. Is that real? Like, in real life? Is there actual real lava spikes? There must be, right? Where, like, you see the open volcano. Like, what? where is that one in Italy? The volcanoes around here uh, don't do that. They don't have, like, just big pits of lava. They're the lahar, whatever they call it, volcanoes. And uh, they just have, like, molten mud. It's pretty weird. But, um, you know, actual, actual lava spikes... All right, idle on at my own cost here, or risk. It resolves. Gotta love that. Nope, not for long. Unholy Heat, down to 12 with only one type in the grave. What's happening here? Opponent desperately clutching to the counter spells, it looks like. Holding him deep, close to his chest. Don't let me down, counter spells. The shark player screams. Please let me win, Counterspell. I'm too scared to live and play the game without you, Counterspell. All right, I mean, we're just going to do everything during his turn. Works for me. Is this bait? Is this a damn force negation here? Do we take the bait? I like doing it during his turn. I still do. Remember, folks, if that was a few years ago, I probably would have done it because, you know, force and negation didn't exist. But it does now. So I am scared. Oh, Gage, I don't think you saw it, by the way, if you're still watching. Check this shit out. This is Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. Look at that shit. What the fuck, man? It's so weird. It, like, burns really bad when you when you drink it. Like, like, not in your mouth, but when you swallow it, it hurts, like, something awful. But yet it doesn't taste bad. So it's like I'm drinking gasoline, but I'm not. All right, let's see that counter spell. Well, Boros Charm did one damage. That's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm willing to throw the lightning helix at this thing. Before he gets to see the expressive iteration cards. Wow, Flusterstorm. What the fuck, man? Pays one. No, I can't do that anyways. Uh, I can Boros burn him, though. Boros charm him, I mean. So he still won't have delirium here.
Sure. Top deck, uh, rest in peace. All right, so we can get him for one. Oh, wait, I guess that's what he needed. Whoops. Oh, well, still got one of them off the field, so that helps me out. We got Murktide now. What's up, Stompy? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, really struggling here with Burn, though. Just not getting any good luck. Just constantly struggling. I'm not great with Burn, either. I'm a simpleton. I really am. And this is looking really bad. Maybe I can deflecting palm that Murktide, right? Top deck land. You love to see it, right? At least I got the Dragon Rage Chandler down to a 1-1 uh, one -one again. Um, but that's what we're going to try and do. I need to save the mountain for Searing Blaze. And uh, that's what we're going to do. My god, if this works, it'll be awesome. Will he get his greed? Just probably got Counterspell in hand, right? They run four of them. There's no way this works. No way in hell that uh, Deflecting Palm gets in there. It's not going to happen. He knows. <sighs> it just doesn't make any sense to hold this. Right? He's got, he got Archmage Charm. I mean, I, I don't think I'm going to win a single match with this deck. So I wait another turn, right? I'd survive this attack, right? Unless he's got Double Bolt in hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, I, I don't know how I can possibly beat this deck with Burn without getting mad lucky. Like, I, I really don't. It's going to be a quick 0-4 in terms of games, not matches. 0-2. Double Bolt. Oh, just Ragavan. Uh, I got nothing. All right, a nice, friendly, haven't won a game yet. This looks like this could be a disaster this week. This looks like it could be multiple 0-5s. I'm probably going to have to beat up on, like, some children or something that uh, did, borrowing their mom's account or something. Stole the mom's credit card and bought a whole bunch of them uh, starter decks, wherever they have on the store. I don't even know. I haven't looked at the MGGO store in, like, literally years. So I don't even know what it looks like anymore. But, you know, I remember when they had Soren versus Tybalt. That was some weird crap. Man, that drink, you just never get used to it. Yeah, Stompy, I don't know if you saw this, but here it is. It's the, the keeping theme with the uh, with the burn this week. We got Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew. Check that shit out. It's crazy. You put it in your mouth, and it tastes okay. But then you swallow it, and it burns the shit out of you. Like, what the hell? Oh, my God. All right. Yes, I'd like to go first. My God, yes. Whew. That shit puts you on fire. It even has a little uh, caution, flaming hot taste. Pretty crazy stuff. It is, Stompy. It's absolutely insane. 
Like, that's what you get for being part of the Do Nation. They send me a six-pack of this crap once in a while. You know, and I was like, what in the hell? Flaming hot. And it was so funny because it showed up. And I was planning on playing Burn anyways this week. And it showed up last week and I was like, flaming hot? That's perfect. It's like they knew. Oh, man. That's right. Yeah, what I what are the ingredients on this thing? Carbonated creeping tar pit. Carbonated water, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, of course, natural flavor, citric acid, yeah, gum arabic, sodium benzonate, caffeine, sodium citrate, yellow five, glycerol ester of rosin. What the hell is that? Calcium disodium ebta, yellow and red forty. You know, and the best part here, I've always noticed on these Mountain Dew cans, is they say the caffeine content, which is 72 milligrams in this can, and then underneath that they say in bold text, we're here to help. Like, as if this is an alcoholic beverage and I have a severe alcoholism problem or something. What the fuck? Oh, God. Woo! Uh, yeah, we'll just get basic Mountain here. Creeping tar can't be blocked, yeah. Man, that is tough to drink. Like, it doesn't taste bad, but after you, you swallow the damn shit, it is just like, you're just on fire. I mean, my throat is just, just an intense burn. I, I can't even begin to describe how that feels. It's just like, as if you got like a sore throat, but it's like not pain pain, it's just like agitation. So whoever chemically designed and engineered this at the Mountain Dew uh, labs, they came up with something nasty. Like, it's just insane. I can't get over what I'm looking at. Like, is this real fucking life? As the children would say. Uh, opponent, I'd like to swing with my 1-2 Swiss Spear into you, please. Maybe he's got dismember and he's really afraid to be pumping it or something. I don't know. I mean, I could, but I plan to just cast an idol on here. I mean, a creeping tar pit tapped is pretty good sign to maybe play an idol on, right? Butt's gonna hurt later. I don't plan on having massive diarrhea with this. Um, the piss may be a little orange or something, but I uh, I hope it doesn't come out of my ass. That'd be pretty intense. It's not like I mean. That might be the case if I'm eating an entire family-sized bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos. You might be able to say that, but um, this should be okay. Could be a little warm. Just warm piss, you know, like apple cider or something. The Major Riot stream to learn about warm piss. It murders you. My wife's always concerned whenever I eat anything like, you know, like beef sticks, um, McDonald's. You know, she's always very frightened of that. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I need to get a sacred foundry here just to make sure I have double white. I mean, yeah, I'm dealing some damage to myself, but... Yeah, let's spike. And I do want to cast Eidolon. Well, yeah, let's cast Eidolon. Just in case he has another. There's really no good time to do this because, yeah, he's going to have another different uh, either bolt. Wow. <laughs> It's a man there. Another fatal push? Absolutely. You got it, sir. So what is this? Grixis? I guess it's Grixis. Probably has a massive death shadow ready for me. Drown the lock? Drown in the lock it is. I have six damage.
maybe during his upkeep, lightning bolt him. Bolt. This isn't Esper control, so I don't know what this is exactly. Snapcaster gonna drown the lock. All right. Kayani, what the hell is that? Well, any lightning bolt or lava spike will do it here. Lightning helix. I mean, I guess we'll go lightning helix here. Force negation. No, okay, all right. He knows I don't have a lightning bolt, obviously. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Okay, well, I still need a top deck lightning bolt. Wow, he swings. They're hoping I have a top deck uh, goblin guide. He's probably got another fatal push. Yes. What do you guys think of him having um, uh, drown the lock here? Counterspell. Why I've been hit by counterspell so much today? It's just unfathomable. I mean, it really is. It's disturbing and disgusting. He targeted me. Okay, I milled uh, Swiss Spear and Rift Bolt. That's not the worst. Okay, he's got another counterspell unless I top deck land. Searing Blaze. That's not enough. That's not enough. All right, we keep it in hand, though. I mean, Croaks can come out now. It'll take all of his mana to do. I lose Goblin Guy and Monastery Swift Spear. That's fine. All right. Why is this so tense? Mm. Fuck. Tap out for croaks that you ass. Oops, I need double red. I just forget this is a double red card for some reason. <laughs> There's so many counter spells. All right, goddamn. I'm going to try and draw another burn spell. Goblin Guide. All right, let's try to swing with Goblin Guide. That, they don't have enough mana to activate that. Go, Goblin! Crawl across that finish line. Do it for great justice. 
to polluted delta. Oh my god! <laughs> Counterspell in hand. Dude, it's another drown. What is this? What is Grixis control, I guess? What the fuck, man? Oh my god, at some point I'll kill somebody, right? This is burn, yeah? Need to play this polluted delta? Okay. Yes, I take three. I need helps. He's got one card left in hand. I guarantee you it's a counter. Rift Bolt, we're going for it. This is it. What's happening? Yeah, I won a game. <laughs> All right, look at that. Threw like two counter spells and three fucking drown the locks, I think. Holy shit. All right, uh, fuck. Let's get a rest in peace in. Man, I brought rest in peace in all three matches so far. And people are like, our oh, graveyards aren't that important anymore. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, Searing Blood looks bad. Path to Exiles, maybe. I don't really like it here, personally. Because this gives them another land and thins their deck further. I don't really like doing that against this style of deck I'm up against. Um, Searing Blaze can probably leave. Certainly don't need that, I don't think. Um, maybe Roiling Vortex. Uh, whoa, thank you kindly, GG for Goblin Guide. Really appreciate that. Hey, you're a fellow streamer of Burn. I don't play Burn nearly as much as you. Uh, my main deck is Ponza. Um, but sometimes I do dabble in the Boros Burn, and I am not very good at it. So if anyone's coming here thinking they're going to see some 5-0 action, I'm going to apologize in advance and say I hope to just perform a 2-3. and three. Uh, I mean, I'm not very good at this deck. I, it, it's a way harder deck than people give it credit for. I'll, I'll admit to that right now. I think this is fine. I, I don't really see a need for Searing Blood. Rolling Vortex. They don't cascade. Uh, yeah, let's go with it. So we got what? Grixis Control? Opponent, by the way, was salty there at the end, guys. Opponent sent me a message that says, why don't you top deck a land? Like, exclamation mark, question mark. Um, he's right. I did not top deck a land. Every, every card I drew was action. And he finally ran out of counter spells. Through just snapcaster mages and everything. That was nuts. So GG for Goblin Guide. Where are you from? And what's your favorite deck? Even though I think it's probably Boros Burn, right? But I could be wrong. Could be uh, Valakut. That's another different type of burn. Uh, yeah, this is fine. It's one thing I like about burn, you know. Most of the hands I look at, I'm like, this works. It's decent. I'm going second, so it's a little bit scary. You know, it's always tough going second. That looks like a fatal push. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Montreal and Burn. Do you guys miss the Expos? The Montreal Expos? Does anyone know what that is anymore? You guys still have the uh, Canadians, right? Right, is that Montreal? I don't know. Yeah, now they're the Nationals and they won the World Series a couple years ago. I'm bringing in the idol on. Montreal screw job, that's right. That's right. Bret Hart did not tap out. That son of a bitch, Vince McMahon, fuck him.
Um, you know. Shawn Michaels, I, you know, I really like Shawn Michaels when he became, when he got out of the Rockers with, um, you know, Marty Jannetty, and he became Shawn Michaels, basically. I thought that was a lot of fun uh, there in about 1993 through about 95, and then he just started at, r rapidly aging. Unholy heat targeting. Okay. Oh, I should have done Boros Charm. That was stupid. I literally was like thinking, can I save this? Um, so we go block here. And Lightning Bolt you. Of course, he would have Fatal Push. That's okay, because I do have uh, Skewer the Critic as well. And uh, I guess we'll get Sacred Foundry. Yeah, I totally bungled that. I need to have Boros Charm become used permanent to control... I, one of them would have survived. Uh, one would have... It probably would have been the Eidolon anyways. It's amazing he thought scours me. I lose life, Lightning Bolt and Rift Bolt. Both bolts. We need more bolts in this deck, goddammit. Alright, we're just in for this long slog of me trying to hit him with stuff during his end phase. Oh. Unless I get that, then that's immediately casting. He's like, fuck that. Oh, this isn't so bad. Because he's going to take some damage here from the Eidolon. So at least Eidolon's going to deal two damage here. And that's right. He's at 10. We just gotta look for a Kroxa here. Did I ever try Zoo? Uh, which Zoo? Zoo Landfall? I do kind of want to try the Zoo, um... The, um... He's gonna try and race me? He's only got one card in hand, so that means I'm safe here from the Force Negation. Um... I have not tried Zoo Domain. I do kind of want to try that. Oh, God, I got to do this before. I have to do this right now because he's going to draw a card. I don't want him to um, to uh, get, get a blue card. He's got Force Negation in hand. If I could just bolt him now because he knows I have it. Set four. Come on, baby. Um, Gruel? Uh, no, I haven't played the Gruel. Down to three. This man's desperate. He feels the heat. Um, no, I was going to play that, like, five-color zoo domain with the Territoa Kavu, or the hell it's called. Um, I was planning on doing that at some point. I still want to do, like, a 12-hour random Jun marathon, um, just to see if I can gin up any hype, um, where it's like, if you follow me... That adds five more minutes to the timer. No! 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 God, fuck. That is horrible. Chalice on one. No! What a turn! What a turn from the opponent. Chalice on one and Collective Brutality escalating made me discard Boros Charm and then gain two life. That is a fucking turn. I took out Searing Blade, so I can't even do that. Skewer the Critics! 
that, that's three mana, but I should die before I can win here. Right? Yeah, because he. this is the old... Yeah, I'm down to two, basically. I, I should be pretty much dead here. There's no possible way for me to win. Except for a Lightning Helix, right? Can that possibly keep me alive a little bit? It can. It technically can, just barely. And I'd have to Lightning Helix one of his creatures. Ain't shit I can do. Fuck, what a turn. What a turn there. The Chalice of the Void ended up not mattering. Yeah, okay. Wow. Son of a bitch. Yeah, so the idea with the Jun Marathon would be I'd have a timer for like 12 hours, right? And I've already kind of figured out a setup. I got to relearn it because I tested it out like a month or two ago. And for every person who follows, that adds like another couple minutes to the timer. If you um, subscribe, you know, to me through Twitch, that's another like five minutes, ten minutes. I can't remember what I set. And then if you donate, it's a certain amount per dollar. I think um, it's just you know some fun. And and I, I was gonna laugh my ass off. If uh, I did that for 12 hours, and it's going to be random jund. What I meant by that, by random jund, is that I have a list of like 40 to 50 cards that are jun jundable cards. You know, I have my set list where it's like four Tarmogoyfs are automatically in. I got my land base. You know, I've got some Lilianas, some Thought Seizes, you know, Lightning Bolts, that good shit. But then there's like enough room for like 20 different cards where they're kind of flex spots. And I was going to let um, a randomizer choose those cards, those extra 20, and throw them in the deck and just see how it does. Just random shit. Like, we're talking about, like, potentially main deck, like, fucking Rampaging Ferocidon and a whole bunch of other cards I put on there. And that was a list I made years ago. So I had to go through all the cards again and see what I could put on there. So it'd be pretty fun. But I would laugh if nobody even gave a fuck and watched. Um... I think I want to bring in the Roiling Vortex, right? Just try to turn up his clock a little bit. Um, take out one Skewer, one Rift. There we go. Hopefully Roiling Vortex doesn't hurt me. Sometimes that happens. Oh, man. What the fuck? I hate one landers. All mole here. That's better. Put a uh, rolling vortex on the bottom. You always want to keep your creatures, right? Even though this could give them a lot of card draw. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I think I want to put a roiling vortex on the bottom, right? He doesn't play any spells for free, so that won't come up. Unless he's got force negation, certainly possible. Uh, oh, oh, he had Mistress Bottles, too, so that might actually work. Um, fuck. Do you really want to keep all your creatures? Because they're the only source that does permanent damage. I think I'm going to put back a Roiling Vortex. The opponent ever decides to play. Folks, I'm going to take another sip of this flaming hot Mountain Dew that kills me every time I take a drink. And i got to drink this this whole week. This whole week of burn. It's, it's flaming hot Mountain Dew. I mean, look at that. That is... That is intense. Oh, God. Chicken tennies and potato minis? What the hell are potato minis? And those tater tots? Tater tots are pretty good. Not gonna lie. 
Oh, fries? Who the hell calls fries potato minis? That's stupid. I've never heard that before in my life. Snapcaster mage? That's pretty fucking good. Um... What was I going to say? Uh, I do call, like, the things called JoJo's, I call them tater logs. So, nobody's ever heard of that, but... Chicken tendies and potato minis? Tendies minis? I guess. Well, you failed. That was not going to piss me off. I mean, when people say tendies, I just look at them like they're, they're hella weird. But then again, I do say... I do say, um... Uh, tater logs instead of JoJo's. Why didn't I swing with Goblin Guide first? Well, I mean, this works. <laughs> he won't be able to draw another card potentially off Goblin Guide. Right? I mean, yeah, sure. He takes two damage. Man, he's got a lot of fatal pushes. Just, he's always got them. Potato minis, I thought also maybe you were referring to like the little potatoes, you know? Yeah, this works. Ow. Swing for four. It's a basic mountain. So is he going to bring in Snapcaster to try and block the Eidolon? He might. I do like baked potatoes. They are very good. Yes! Take more damage. Don't also push my fucking goblin guide. Yes, down to eight. Excellent. Wish I told you about Do Nation earlier. Why? <laughs> uh, years of dedication to the Do cause. You can get them off eBay. I'm sure they got them on eBay. I mean, it probably costs an arm and a leg. But you can get them. Sure. Lightning Helix and Lava Spike. That was a good hit. That's the first time Thought Scours actually hit really relevant cards. No, damn it. All right. Ooh. I can dig that. All right, he's at four. Can he get rolling? I did leave myself exposed there to potential collector brutality here. I can't stop with Roiling Vortex. So... Let's see if I pay uh, some punishment here. I just lost, uh, get out of the way. Rest in peace to Sunbay Canyon. That's good shit, I'm glad that happened. Let's see what Ragavan steals from me. Opponent is not gonna scoop. He's got Ragavan, who scoops? Look at this Ragavan too, he's got the borderless one. This man literally missed a mortgage payment for this. He's not gonna scoop. Inspiring Vantage, yes. It's three cards off the top that I did not want. All right, I mean, we just... Uh, this is still tough here. When we try to do this during his turn, right?
This sucks, this Sunbaked Canyon I can't crack because of a... Uh... I lose Eidolon and rest in peace. All right. Again, cards I don't mind losing. All right, let's see if he's got double bolt here. Inspiring Vantage. Wow. This guy's got to be getting pissed. I may have just died. Um... Bolt. Snapcaster? What's that all about? Yeah! All right! Look at that, I got him! Wow, those were epic games. Those are really good. Those are quality ass games against Griffith's Control with Burn. That's something you don't expect to see. That ain't. That was quality. Wow. I don't know why he would. I mean, that's such a severe error if he didn't notice all of his cards were gone from the graveyard. I mean, there was nothing he had in the graveyard that I exiled with Rest in Peace that would have. Um, Stop that lightning bolt. There was no drown the lock, right? That wasn't a counter spell. He just hit me with fatal pushes and thought scours. Shit. That was intense. Time for a celebratory burning of the throat with the uh, Mountain Dew flaming hot. I'm just, I can't get over this. Why would they do this to me? I, I've loved them for so long, Mountain Dew, and, and look what's happened. Even Mountain Dew is starting to betray me. Oh. Holy fuck. That is intense flavor. Lord. All right. Uh, this is kind of rough, but I'll keep it. My old war stories about Mountain Dew, I, I mean, really, there's not much war to talk about. Um, there's been times where I've gone to the store and they haven't restocked their Mountain Dew, and that generally gets me a little bit angry. Um... Boy, this is turning out to be an incredibly awkward hand. Um, I'm just going to play Sunbake Canyon and say go. I want to try and get like a Lightning Bolt and a Skewer next turn. I probably shouldn't have played the Sunbake because now they know what's up. Right? Boar's Burn is generally the only deck that plays Sunbake. Okay. Um... I guess now I can Lightning Helix them. And we'll see how they like that. I haven't seen this island in a while. The one from Eldraine. So we go from Grixis Control to probably Azorius Control here. So uh, shout outs to control players in America and the world, I guess. I will fire the first salvo here. That is an ugly ass counter spell. That is disgusting. I hate that counter spell. Deep shame for the opponent there. All right, let's try to unload nine points of damage here. Let's try it. I don't hate the old frames. It's just dumb art. It's just hella stupid art. Hella stupid art. Oh my god, this is some serious fucking damage here. G 
Jesus. <laughs> Three bolts to the face. Oh, man. That man was hurt. He thought he was just going to take one. Fucking took three. Three punches. Three zappity zaps. All right. I've been seeing a lot of spreading seas. I mean, Spreading Sea is relatively ineffective against this deck. Sure. I've taken a taser before. Well, not a taser. I guess a stun gun. Wow, I took that too. All right. Is that eight? Like, we had the, my buddy, he had a, his mom had a stun gun. What the fuck? And, uh, he, um, he would get a hold of it and we'd all test to see how long we could endure this thing, right? And it was pretty intense. Uh, and so we didn't think it was intense enough. So what we ended up doing was we put new batteries in it and the lightning bolt and the little little part, the little prongs, went from blue to white. And it just became like crazy. Like I, I normally when they'd stun you, they stun you in your small of your back. Because we're assholes like that. Um normally you'd be like, oh, oh you know, you you'd fraud, you know, you'd kind of stumble about. Man, that hit you. That was just, like, unreal. I mean, your legs just gave out. I mean, it was just so intense. Ugh. Well, I mean, this works as the Bloodstained Mire gets to stick around. Um, but, yeah, we'll definitely try a Searing Blaze here. Please, no Force Negation. Yes. All right, they're at five. Now, this is where it gets really difficult. Really, really difficult because I've I've used up all my fuel. For a case of do? No, fuck no. Mountain Dew doesn't cost very much. It's not like, you know, Mountain Dew suddenly worth like, you know, 20000 a can or something. Like it's fucking, you know, Mad Max or something. I'd be like, no, let's go buy it. I mean, a 12-pack of Mountain Dew cost me less than five bucks, so no. I would not do that. Is this stupid for me to hold this stupid Bloodstained Mire? He doesn't farm many creatures, so I might as well just fetch, right? Hell, I don't know. Here come the lands. Oh, it's Rift Bolt. I like suspending Rift Bolt here. Makes them have to have more stuff. A whole pallet? It's a lot of Mountain Dew. I don't know what I, where would I even store a whole pallet? I don't know. I'd think about it for a second. You know, but I'd probably say no. I'm not really into the whole, like, let me have pain for, I mean, just Mountain Dew doesn't cost enough for me to be like, oh yeah, let me get a blast from this fucking stun gun or a taser i've never been tased fuck that oh my fucking god that is some bullshit right there fuck that all right we're probably dead here all right that's that's enough I don't think I can win now. God damn it. Yeah, I can't cast this, so. I should just sit here, right? If I say no. A 
We'll try it. What are you talking about? What the hell is that? What? Come on, goblin guy, get in there. Oh. All right. This here sucks ass. Chalice on one. I mean, I still have some outs. It's lightning bolt. All right, we're just dead here. I can't. I can't deal with this. Just he's gonna have. <sighs> I still have Lightning Helix. This gives me a, a Searing Blaze target. I guess. I mean, I, you can just play Smash the Smithereens. Smash the Smithereens is two. That's what I always use. I think Smash Smithereens is overall better card for burn than, uh, the hell is this? Oh, all right, that's enough. All right, dude, you win. Okay. So, we need a Roiling Vortex again. Probably Rest in Peace. To deal with the Snapcaster. Searing Blaze out. Uh, I could bring in Smash Smith Smithereens, but it seems kind of weak. Um, I don't really like Rip Bolts because of that Teferi thing. It doesn't do any burn. It's pretty bad. I mean, it has to be some spectacular. I don't want to be using an entire turn to play Prismatic Ending that doesn't even do burn, right? I mean, you could argue the same with Path to Exile, right? But a lot of my burn spells can take care of most creatures. Yeah, this is a great hand. Let's go. Gotta fix this. I'm one and two. I have accidentally in the past just F6 after I played Goblin Guy on turn one. I think I've only done that once. Flooded Strand, Goblin Guy helping out the opponent there, giving him an extra card. All right. Let's see that prismatic ending or path to exile. Oh, God. That is tough to drink. Whew. Prismatic ending. All right. Well, it gives me hope, because they don't have double blue here for, uh, give me counterspell. Um, I took out Searing Blaze so I can fetch. Don't really need to worry about my life total too much. Fuck. I'd alone! It's like the only good Eidolon, right? 
There's that one Eidolon that's kind of cool that they put in the new Theros. Uh, Eidolon of Hate or something. There, there's one that deals with Planeswalkers, and there's the one that whenever an enchantment comes in, it draws a card. I don't remember. It was played in Standard and sometimes in Historic and Pioneer, I think. But uh, it's the only Eidolon that's ever seen modern play, as far as I know. How many are there? Is this another different disenchant? Look at that. All right. Woo, buddy. Look at that. That's a good draw. That's a quality draw there. Swift Spear. Lightning Bolt. Skewer. Swing for three. Secret Lair. Oh, seven. Look at that. I didn't know there was that many. I don't the countless battles. What the fuck? No. Whatever, he doesn't gain any life. I gained three. Fuck. I'm so excited. It looks so good, but I'm probably not going to win now. I unlock countless battles. Bestow. I unlock countless battles, enchanted battles, and enchanted. Enchanted creature get plus one plus one for each creature you control, and plus one plus one for each aura you control. <sighs> Not really what I wanted there, but it works. Wow, what the fuck, man? What in the fuck is this? We're dead. I can't possibly beat him now. Alright, I'm not I'm not gonna play this anymore. I, I don't wanna deal with that. Fuck that. That's some fucking bullshit. Fuck! You can't win with burn. There's just no way to win with this deck anymore, I don't think. Well, that can't be true. I mean, people do really well with it. Um, but what the fuck is that? Who plays that card in blue-white control? It's absolutely terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Man, this deck seems so bad. It just seems so bad. So fucking bad. It's the same problem as always had. You get them down to about 10 and then you die. I don't. I don't ever see that on most sides of white. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, no, uh, if I can even find a blue eye control. This deck doesn't have it, this version of blue eye control, the first one I clicked on. Let's see what they say in average. No, most are not. Most are not running this. Are running that ley line in the side. I, I've never seen a blade on the side. They're now playing Crumble the Dust and Fracturing Gust. Fracturing Gust makes sense. 
Wow, crumble the dust. That's really interesting. All right, let's see what sort of shit show I'm up for now. Oh yeah, nothing wrong here. Wow, we got a mirror match. Whoever has the searing blaze first will win. Mana tithe? What? What are all these cards? I, this must be some sort of prison deck or something instead. It must be uh, that damn prison. Yeah, it must be like red, white prison. Oh, I went past, I, fuck, I went past my main. Oh, well. Uh, okay. Wow. All righty. Wow, that was a good draw. I better get a Sacred Foundry here. This time I will not skip my main. I will actually play the skewer here. There we go. We did it, guys. Lulls were had. Stone rain. Yes! Yes! All right, I still have one Sacred Foundry. Look at that. We'll get it, though, just in case. <laughs> I just should have had Boros turn. Whatever. Who cares? Let's attack. Look at this shit. Fuck you, I draw lands. That's what I do. That's what I'm famous for. Wow. <laughs> what the hell? What in the fuck is happening here? Come on. This is absolutely insane here. I mean, he's never going to swing with this goblin. Come on, I don't have a pillage. Sure. Creatures can't attack you unless... Sure. I can't attack you anymore anyways. God, imagine we played that untapped. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Yes, yes, yes. I can't attack anyways. And I, I can't swing with prowess. I can't. Not anymore. All right, top deck lava spike or something. Top deck rift bolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah! We got there. <laughs> oh my god, what is this crap? What is this shit? Rolling vortex is coming in. It was. That was a bizarre ass win. Maybe I need Smash the Smithereens? I don't know. Uh, Core Firewalker is good here. Uh, let us take out a Skewer. Eh, maybe all the Skewers. Pretty rough casting that for three sometimes. Um, maybe this is wrong. I don't know, but we're going with it. So we got red, white, prison. Trying to get the two and three to get some of my money back. That's what we're trying to do here. That's excellent. Now we just have to avoid, uh... Well, Molten Rain's three mana. Pillage is three mana. I guess Boom. Boom is the only one we got to worry about here. Old Boom Bust. Yeah, holding on to... Um, yeah, that, that could work too. Just really need to get this core Firewalker on the field. I mean, we really do. I really like the art on Inspiring Vantage. I don't know why. It just looks cool. They do a really good job on the lands. Alright. End step, bolt you. Oh, fucking mana tithe. Fucking ass. Fucking extreme levels of bullshit. It's okay. Here comes the stone rain. It's okay, we still have Eidolon. This man has probably never seen Boros Burn have so many lands before. He's like, what the fuck's going on? Every time I destroy a land, he's immediately got another one. But sure. All right, we're going to Rift Bolt him to death. Please stop with the land destruction. Sure. That works for me. Suspend again. Ah. Fuck. How 
How do I get involved in this shit all the time? I mean, one land is pretty good here. How does this guy win? Do we know? Probably just stacking up on mana ties, right? That's probably what's happening. I would assume. Lightning Bolt, okay. Discard to hand size. He's probably just got a shit ton of mana ties. All three cards in hand are mana ties. Wow, I'm just barely alive here. Just barely. Gotta get our damage in right now, that way he doesn't have mana ties. Yeah, Stompy, I've played against this before. Usually with pawns, it's not that big of a deal because I can shut him down with Blood Moon sometimes. Wow. All right, exactly the right card he needed. Molten Rain. All right, well, you know, this is what I get for playing Burn, right? This is what I get for existing as a human being. Um, I really don't think there's anything better I can bring in. I mean, do I want to bring in Rest in Peace? I just don't think so. Smash the Spin Rings won't work because it's only against artifacts. I think this is the best I got. I'm going first. I just got to hope that going first is enough. Just, it wasn't before, right? No, I haven't. No, I haven't gone first yet in this, I don't think. All right, let's go. Go, Goblin Guide, go. Boom bust. Make sure we play a land before we cast a Swiss Spear. Man, that is... Does he have mana tie? I just gotta assume he does. Oops. Need bread. If this resolves, we'll play the other Swiss Spear. It resolves. All right. Swing, 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 swing. Another boom bus? Back to back boom bus? Oh, gut shot without a doubt. I mean, my God, just free. I mean, we would have won for sure. I don't need lands for gut shot. Prismatic ending one. Prismatic ending two? What? <laughs> that is some bullshit right there. That is some hardcore bullshit, but fuck, this is awesome right here. Hopefully he just wasted all of his uh, prismatic endings. Gets a mana tithe. Okay, well, I mean, I... if he's got another land, he does. So this uh, he's not going to play Boom Bust, huh? All right. 
Swing here for four. Sunbake Canyon. Yeah, they, they you got it. I've always noticed guys that play these are pretty strange individuals. Is he just trying to store up for fucking bust? Molten Rain. Uh, we'll save a red here. And then with that red, we'll bolt. And we can't mana tithe. I mean, we can't do anything here. Yeah! God damn. Two and three. Have you ever seen a man work so hard with fucking burn? What? This curse. Jesus Christ. Now to celebrate with another uh, sip of this flaming hot dew. Wow. Good Lord. Oh, I hate this shit. There we go. No, not one more league. I'm done. I'm done. I can only do one league a day. I got other stuff I got to do. Uh, my wife, I got to hang out with her. It's Monday Night Football I want to watch. Um, I got to pet my dogs. All sorts of stuff. Um, you know, it, it's real life. You know, this is just a hobby. And I have a little bit of time to play this. And I don't know how much longer in my life I'll be able to do this. But that is a two and three. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. Not a terrible start. First time with Burn and almost three months like literally a week away from being three months um so yeah um everyone hope you had fun uh let's do some shout outs here shout outs to cole nature stompy wire um what else we got here uh gg for goblin guide um manure butt um that gauge and Sean X Perry. I know there's one other guy. That's as far as I can scroll up, you know. Sorry. Uh, but special shout-outs here to... Uh, uh, oh, that's interesting. It says uh, I had a different follower that never even showed up on my screen. That's interesting. Well, we'll get him on right now. Shout-outs to uh, Ryan's private. <laughs> like, I, I'm private Ryan, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. You can make whatever you want of that. Thank you kindly for the follow. Really appreciate that, man. Uh, so shout-outs also to uh, GG for Goblin Guide and Sean X Perry also for the follows. Thank you guys very much today. That's the most follows I've had in a day in months. Really appreciate that. Uh, you have a good night too, Stompy. Uh, get some good sleep and don't eat those jalapenos. Don't do that, man. It upsets your wife. And remember, a happy wife is a happy life. It's it's 100% true. There's nothing more true in life than that almost. Um so yeah, guys, if you watched on Twitch, please consider following. If you watched on YouTube, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up. You can always join my uh, flock of birds on Twitter. We've got six of us now. There's six birds flying everywhere I go. Um, so that's cool. I will be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more Boros Burn with the same exact list. And yes, even more Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. Like, my God, this is going to be a struggle this week. Whew! So I hope everyone enjoyed. I I struggled, but two and three ain't too bad. Yeah, I got pissed off a couple times. But what do you expect? Um, but yeah, uh, everybody stay safe out there. Eat some good food. Drink some good beverages. And uh, hug your loved ones. Spend time with your sweetheart. Whatever you got to do. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.